Okay, first day that this thing's actually had some real wind. Uh, we have had consistent wind from 16 to 18 miles an hour, gust getting up to 22 to 23 miles per hour. I haven't quite hit rated wind speed this afternoon, but it's a possibility that we're going to get a little bit more this after or later today. Uh, so far, this thing is quiet, it seems to be running smooth. That I don't like, and I'm sure it's not showing up on the video, is that the tail vane, real flimsy, it's flopping around. Should I mention that before? I expect that to break. Uh, another thing is that I've noticed that in gust, the, the turbine tilts back and falls forward a little bit. And I think it's because those bolts are pulling out of the slip ring. The slip ring is made out of cast aluminum. It's not very hard. Uh, I think that that's going to have to be changed at some point. You might see my tower is still anchored with just T-post. It's 30 feet tall, 32 feet tall to be exact. And it hasn't tried to, to leave. It hasn't pulled the post out. It hasn't walked or anything. I still do have it tied to my truck on the other side of the shop just in case. Uh, it does decide to walk away. Hopefully it doesn't. Alright, just for a little bit of a refresher. Got four turbines up. I've got this 700. It's 500 watts rated. And a 400 over there. These were all generic eBay turbines made in China. That is the East of Breeze I-15. I reset all my meters today so we can see how they compare with one another. Uh, this one, that's our 700. I've been pretty happy with it. 12.3 amps today, 640 watts peak. And again, we haven't quite hit rated wind speed. This one does its rate, you know, it hits its rated wind speed. It goes 700, 750. And 26 mile per hour winds. They're all rated at 12 and a half meters per second, which is a little over 26 miles per hour. This is the 500, consistently unhappy with it, 28 or 280 watts, 5 amps. This one has not done any, no, I'm sorry, 228 watts and 5 amps. This one has never exceeded. 300 watts and we've had 50 55 mile an hour winds hit it this one that's the 400 I've been pretty happy with the 400 overall uh, so far today 263 watts peak and I think it said five now well, let's get back to it 5.27 amps this one gets really close to rated wattage if not a little bit over and the 26 mile per hour winds. I have seen this one kick out nearly 900 watts and it's still cooking today. This is the Easter Breeze, 35 amps today, 1,212 watts peak. So this one is doing some real work. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I said prior that if it made a thousand watts, I would consider it a success. It's exceeding that. I'm willing to bet that that one will actually hit its rated wattage at the 12 and a half meter per second wind. I can't say another thing. I got all these going through bridge rectifiers. This is a 700. It's a little warm to the touch. The 400 and the 500 watt are cool to the touch. The Easter Breeze. I can't even put my hand on it well it's cooled off a little bit since the last time I checked out checked it out but it is very uncomfortable uncomfortably warm I'm gonna have to redesign my board a little bit here I seem to be working fine but uh, if I'm gonna throw that kind of wattage at it I gotta get fans set up on those things well anyway that's our update for today and uh, if I See anything? If anything interesting happens, I'll make another one. But I'm pretty happy with the Easter Breeze. So far. So far. We'll see how long it lasts this way. Thanks, guys.